Haya. That seems to be the greeting here in Connemara. Haya. <laughs> Haya to you all. Let's try to do uh, perhaps some trivia, some information, some hindsight 2020. I'll start with where we are right now in Clifton. Three days here is too much for us. We are going to go take a walk. It's a very small little town of a few thousand people, many, many restaurants, and a few hotels, bees and bees. It's been a good trip. I love tramping or walking or hiking through some of the little towns. I suppose I should have known in advance, but I didn't realize that yesterday's walk was going to be so boggy and muddy. Ew. Five miles of boot sucking mud. Everything has been totally different. If I had to pick one hotel, the one in Lac Ina, the four star was definitely the best of the lot. Loved it there. We've eaten great food. Almost every single restaurant serves exactly the same menu. There are very, very few exceptions. You definitely want to eat the killery mussels, which are wonderful. I don't know what else to tell you about. It's been a very short trip, but it's been a great trip as usual. Now this has absolutely nothing to do with Ireland, but just a little tidbit of information. Steve and I had a cruise scheduled for September on Viking from Alaska all the way to Japan and of course that was canceled. So we remade that same exact cruise for May of 2022 and guess what? Today <laughs> Steve's laughing. I got an email from Viking that they've canceled that one. They're being proactive about it. That shows uh, the pessimism about what they think is going to happen in the world of travel. Oh well, <laughs> what, what can I say? There's a reason why I call it hindsight is 2020, but some of it isn't really hindsight. This particular trip, a lot of the glitches deal with the fact that Ireland has just reopened for tourism. Not, to the, not for the Irish people, but for foreigners like us and Americans. And they're still getting their act together. Things are not running as smoothly as they will, hopefully, by the time you come and visit. Our last trip, not the cruise, but the trip to Croatia, where we were totally on our own, Croatia really has their act together, and everything is running very smoothly. Another problem for all these countries is getting help. Nobody's wants to come back to work as a server, as a taxi driver. You know, this is just a fact. So they are shorthanded in hotels, restaurants, all over. Everything having to do with the tourism industry. I hope all these tips are of help to you and all my, they're not criticisms, they're just telling you the way it is right now. Thanks for listening. Heating is radiator or steam heat, and you have to ask them, <laughs> would you please give us heat in the evening? Otherwise, they assume that you're hardy like they are, and never mind if it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit in your room and you've got goosebumps all over your body. <laughs> they don't. They're walking around in shorts. <laughs> We head back to Dublin Airport on Saturday via two CityLink buses, and once we get to the airport, I made arrangements for walk-through rapid antigen COVID tests. All I have to do is find the facility, which is somewhere around Terminal 1 or North Terminal. Stay overnight at the Radisson Blue Hotel, which is right there at the airport, and fly on home on Sunday. Thanks so much for all your views, your comments. I love reading about where you're going, what you're doing, the pros and cons of different places. Once again, 
everything that I tell you is my opinion only.